China's Type 076 amphibious assault ship Sichuan began its first sea trials on November 14, marking a major step in the program for the Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy. After less than a year since its launch, China's first electromagnetic catapult-equipped Type 076 amphibious assault ship embarked on its maiden sea trial on Friday. The vessel was built by the Hadong Zhonghua Shipbuilding Yard in Shanghai, part of the China State Shipbuilding Corporation. The pace of construction has drawn particular attention, as the first hull sections were placed in October 2023 and the launch followed on December 27 of the same year. This means the shipyard completed a large and complex vessel in just over a year, a timeline described in the report as impossible to match in European conditions. Before leaving the yard basin, Sichuan underwent all required mooring trials, including checks of electronic systems and software. Current trials in the East China Sea will test general ship systems, propulsion and power arrangements, as well as overall stability. The ship features a full-length flight deck similar to earlier Type 075 vessels, but its superstructure is split into two separate blocks. The forward block houses the command bridge, while the aft block accommodates flight control and air traffic management for operations around the ship. Each superstructure element also contains air intakes and exhausts, and the ship carries an electromagnetic catapult running along the port edge of the flight deck. The 116-meter system is longer than that fitted to the Fujian aircraft carrier and enables the launch of conventional combat aircraft or large unmanned systems such as the Hongdu GJ-11 and Guizhou WZ-7. Sichuan has a full displacement of around 50,000 tons and its flight deck covers more than 13,500 square meters and includes three arrestor gear sets for recovering aircraft. The ship uses two aircraft lifts positioned outside the deck outline, a change from the internal lifts of earlier Chinese assault ships and a layout similar to American America and WASP-class vessels. Its integrated electric propulsion system replaces earlier diesel-only arrangements and includes two 21 MW gas turbines and six 6 MW diesel generators. Defensive armament consists of three 24-cell HQ-10 launchers and three HPJ-11 x 30mm close-in weapon systems fitted with the latest tracking radar. The ship also carries four 32-tube launchers for multispectral decoys. Sichuan can embark up to 1,000 fully equipped troops for landing operations. They can reach shore using two Type 726A air cushion landing craft carried in the well deck or by the ship's complement of helicopters. Compared with its predecessor, the Type 075 amphibious assault ship, the Type 076 is added with new technologies such as the electromagnetic catapult and new aviation control system with the new dual island design, so initiating the sea trial phase in such a short period indicates that everything is going smoothly, and contributes to the potential fast commissioning of the vessel. The Type 076 Sichuan is the world's first amphibious assault ship equipped with electromagnetic catapult and Arresting technologies, it is also China's second warship equipped with the electromagnetic catapult and arresting technologies after the country's third aircraft carrier, the Fujian, which was just officially commissioned into the PLA Navy earlier this month. With the electromagnetic catapult, the Type 076 can carry not only helicopters, but also drones of different sizes and roles. It is not a traditional amphibious assault ship because it is equipped with an electromagnetic catapult that enables the vessel to carry fixed-wing aircraft, even the J-35 stealth fighter jets, like a light aircraft carrier. This also means the Type 076 has strategic roles to play. The PLA Navy's overall amphibious capabilities are expected to receive a significant boost. The Type 076 amphibious assault ship could also form formations with aircraft carriers, further enhancing the PLA Navy's combat capabilities in the far seas. Sichuan's unusually wide flight deck is absolutely core to the design. Along with the ship's two islands, this has long made clear the ship is heavily focused on sustained flight operations. This will include fixed-wing types launched via the catapult at the bow end and recovered via some form of arresting gear. Just this week, Chinese authorities announced that the land-based version of the GJ-11, now officially named the Mysterious Dragon, had entered operational service with the People's Liberation Army Air Force. 
Any future naval versions of the drone could also find their way onto other big deck ships in the PLA Navy's inventory, including its first catapult-equipped aircraft carrier, the Fujian, which was commissioned last week. Sichuan's air wing will not be limited to variations of the GJ-11 design, and is expected to include a host of other current and future crewed and uncrewed types. Various helicopters, as well as an as-yet unnamed crewed tilt-rotor aircraft under development in China, which is now in flight testing, could be part of that mix. The Type 076 design also has a well deck at the stern to support traditional amphibious assault operations. The potential value to the PLA Navy of having a fleet of very large deck amphibious assault ships that are highly capable of large-scale drone operations as well as traditional amphibious assaults is clear. Simply having more naval aviation capacity overall would give the PLA Navy added flexibility for various operations closer to the mainland, including a potential military intervention against Taiwan or defending its expansive and largely unrecognized territorial claims in places like the South China Sea. Type 076 could also help project naval and air power further from China's shores, something that has also been a driving factor behind the country's broader carrier ambitions. The Type 076 could help provide support during humanitarian assistance and disaster relief operations. Big deck amphibious warfare ships, in general, provide their operators with immensely valuable platforms for projecting both hard and soft power. Sichuan is reflective of a larger effort by the PLA Navy to significantly expand its capabilities and operational capacity, including for projecting power well beyond China's shores and any regional contingencies. A dramatic expansion in the naval aviation realm has been a particular centerpiece of this modernization push, which traces all the way back to the 1990s. This is all further underscored by the increasingly strong evidence that China's next supercarrier will be a nuclear-powered design, 